I wake up in the morning ready for the morning news Trying to find out what's been going on around the city school Oh yeah, and I forgot to even mention It's your daily morning duty, teachers please post attendance A new season and it's about to be wild Showing students full of spirit, dedication and smiles And yeah, I guess that's all I have to say But thank you all for tuning in to AHS Today Welcome back, Auburn High School. It's Monday, March 31st, a white day. I'm Ben Bracken. And I'm Rosemary Shelton, and you're watching AHS Today. Let's see what's for lunch. Um, uh, okay. Come on, everybody. Hello there, I know y'all want something to munch on. So now I'm going to tell you what's all for lunch on today, which is pizza, fiestado, burrito, steak, nuggets, chicks, filet. And if you don't see no type of food you want to eat, then we have two more meals. And that is salad box and sandwich box to seal the deal. And now I'm out of time, so I have to go. I'm bringing it back to the anchors in the studio. Happening today, varsity and B-team basketball tryouts will begin today in the new gym. Anyone interested in trying out must come to Coach Brandt's room, 602, to fill out forms. The varsity tennis teams will host Opelika today for their Serving for a Cause event. T-shirts will be on sale and all proceeds will go towards breast cancer treatment and awareness. Admission to the match is free. Let's take a look at today's weather. Good morning Auburn High School. Hope everyone had a great spring break. Today's weather is a high of 71 with a low of 48 and if you like today's weather, tomorrow's will be about the same. Back to you in the studio. Key Club Officer applications for next year are available on Facebook and in Ms. Steltonpole's room. Applications must be turned in by tomorrow. This Thursday, the AHS Varsity Soccer teams will host Opelika at Duck Sanford Stadium for their annual Soccer for a Cure event. The girls' game will begin at 5 p.m. and the boys' game will play at 7 p.m. Admission is $1 and there will be a t-shirt sale and a bake sale. Proceeds from the event will benefit families in Lee County who are battling cancer. Last semester, Auburn High School experienced the loss of senior Jessica Jackson. Prior to spring break, friends and family planted a tree outside the new gym in Jessica's memory. We go now to the school news for this story. On um, March 20th, uh, we had a memorial service of a planting of a tree for one of our students, Jessica Jackson, who passed away back in the fall. And this tree was just kind of a memorial to remind her and the legacy by her being an athlete, we planted it near the gym to remind the people of the legacy she left for her classmates here at Auburn High School. And we'll establish a little plaque that if you come and read why it's planted, why it's located, where it's located near the school. The tree symbolizes um, remembrance that you would have for a person in this time period. So as we look around, we want everybody just to kind of be observant and thankful for the time that we shared. And uh, it will be a kind of a place that will be significant on campus. Just to touch all our lives. Okay. You knew her, you right, loved right, her. Right, right. Any student interested in being a student athletic trainer for next year should go to the new gym or the athletic office after school to pick up an application. Applications are due by next Friday. Volunteers are needed for the annual Auburn City Fest that will be held Saturday, April 26 at Kiesel Park. Volunteer applications can be accessed at auburncityfest.com. Thanks for tuning in. That's AHS Today. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance and observe a moment of silence. No, because like it goes 